In this video, we'll be exploring some of Japan's most epic winter locations, hunting snow, and some epic photos. After visiting Mount Fuji in the last video, now we're on to some of my favorite locations in Japan, including Nagano, and then one of the most beautiful villages in Japan in Shirakawago. All right, let's jump in. Our first stop was at one of my favorite castles in all of Japan. So sunrise at Matsumoto this morning. It's my second time here, but this time we have snow. So it looks like the water's actually frozen over a little bit, which might kind of ruin the reflection here. But otherwise, the conditions look great. Hopefully this is the start of a day of lots of snow. Headed to a pretty special location later on, which I haven't been before, so pretty excited for that. A bit tired, but I'm sure that will wear off pretty quickly. I'm gonna go shoot the castle. Let's go. Yeah. I'll leave in the morning. They all fly away. Jealous? Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and that was pretty much us done at the castle, but just as we were about to leave, a local marching band showed up. So we're waiting for the band to start, but we only got them like warming up, stretching. <laughs> Insert stars here. <laughs> How's the castle? 10 out of 10. Solid. Solid 10 out of 10. So we didn't get any marching band action, but it was time to go grab some breakfast and a much needed coffee. And of course, it was from the convenience store. <laughs> My favorite. This one's all right. Go to? Nah, it's all right. It's a bit watery, eh? And water and sugar. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. All the vlogs just up dance nose <laughs> It was my shift to drive to our next location. With just under three hours ahead of us, we were headed straight to Shiwa Karago to spend the rest of the day there. On the way, some light snow did begin to fall, making us even more excited for our next stop. All right, we've made it and it is snowing just a little bit, but it's pretty nice. So this is the view in the background here. It's pretty nice. I think we want to hang around until it gets a little bit darker and some lights start coming on later. So we've got quite a few hours to kill, but not a bad place to be hanging out. So we're gonna walk, head down to the town while we're waiting for the light to improve a little bit. It's so nice here, even just walking down, there's snow falling off the trees, snowballs flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> It would turn out that we would spend the rest of the day just wandering through the village itself, playing in the snow, eating some local food, and just enjoying this beautiful place until blue hour. These are some of the photos I took as we wandered through, mostly all taken on the Fuji X Pro 3. And with that, it was almost blue hour, 
time to get that one shot we've been waiting for with all the village lights starting to come on. To end the day, we drove back to where we were staying for the night, had a meal, ready for another big day ahead of us tomorrow. All right, so we finished up pretty late last night at Shirakarago, and then we stayed the night here at Takayama. And today we were on to see the snow monkeys and the cedar forest in Nagano as well, which is a pretty yeah, cool spot. A little bit sick of convening, is that you? <laughs> Coffee and then hit the road. Morning, morning. Morning, Dano. Morning. So this would be our last full day on this adventure, driving back through Nagano to stay the night and then returning the car back to Tokyo tomorrow. So we've made it to Monkey Park. It's 1.6 kilometer walk in, so about half an hour-ish. And we'll be at the monkeys. Monkey, 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 monkey. I am Monkey Michelle, ready to see the snow monkeys. <laughs> you ready to get attacked? Yeah. Yeah? I waited for this moment <laughs> since pre-COVID. <laughs> <laughs> As the monkeys did their thing, I think it was time for us to leave. These two haven't been here before. What was your thoughts? Good for one time. Yep, same. One yeah. time. Wouldn't come great. back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, it'd be cool in snow. Yeah, but like give us like pouring snow, I think that'd be cool. We're done. We're yeah. heading to, to the, forest. the cedar forest now here in Nagano. I don't think we're gonna get any snow, unfortunately. But we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi 360, <laughs> how are you today? So we're back at, what's it called? Togu Togakushi Shrine. Togakushi. In Nagano. Yeah, so I first came here quite a while ago now. It'd be like, what, five years maybe? 2018, that's four of us. Us, yeah. Kat, me, you and Koki. Koki. Pretty cool spot, the one with the big cedar trees. Bit of a walk in, yeah. It's snowing a little bit. Hoping it starts to get a little bit heavier as we walk in, but we'll see. Yeah. Doors open. This is the spot. We made it. Not as much snow as last time I was here, but still nice. Trees are beautiful. Time to take some photos. We walked all the way up to the top now and now we're going to walk back to the car and go eat cocoa curry. Let's go. Oh yeah, time for cocoa curry. As we slid rather than <laughs> walked back to the car, this was a fun way to end another epic adventure with an awesome group of people. Last car in the car park. Hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now. In the next episode, I head off to one of the most amazing and also crazy experiences I've ever had in Japan at the Nozawa Onsen Fire Festival. Hope to see you there. <laughs>